Memorial Hall in Plymouth is living up to its name. Thanks to the legwork of Bob Davidson, the hall is paying homage to several Vietnam veterans from America's hometown. We spoke with two other veterans that helped to organize the display. We also met up with the woman who brought in her husband's incredible model airplanes and they're hanging from the ceiling in the hall. It is truly a memorial hall. For many years I wanted to, to do something to memorialize the veterans from Vietnam, the young men that were there. Uh, I attended high school with three out of the four. Um, Fred Garside was a little older than I was. Uh, Bobby Hedge, uh, Paul Resendiz, Wayne Moore, uh, we were all in high school together within a year, say. And I thought it would be nice to recognize them. I always thought maybe it would be nice to put uh, a memorial in Plymouth's Memorial Hall. What better than that? So uh, I got together with a couple of gentlemen. We ran around talking to different people, trying to get things like mannequins and uniforms, and um, people were very receptive to what we were trying to do. The unique thing about this was about three years ago, the, a group got together and had a Huey helicopter. And the, was that the Veterans Day Parade? Kenny, what parade was it? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day Parade. The, the, they had a helo, and they recognized on the back of the helo the names of the four fallen soldiers from Vietnam. But I got involved with the helicopter about three weeks before it was finalized. And when I'm looking at it, one of the gentlemen, well, the one who was just on Ken, started talking about where I served. And I served in the 9th Marines, Ashore Valley. <coughs> and it just so happens that Paul Rosenzis, the corpsman, was in my platoon when another platoon got ambushed by the NVA. And he went in as a, you know, as a corpsman and <coughs> took care of, you know, we all, Quite a few of the guys that were injured, and then he got killed and at, 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 during that uh, time when he was saving the guys. That one there, that's my plane, because I love the biplane, and he, so he built that for me. So I was a little reluctant to let that one go. <laughs> Bill had, had put, the, they were on loan to the museums, and I said to him one day, uh, you know, Bill, you should bring those home and enjoy them for a little while, and something happens to you, I'll see to it that they go back out. And that's exactly what happened. So he went and collected them, and I had a cathedral ceiling put in, and the rest is history. Fred Gossai was one of the first people, soldiers, veterans, that were killed in the Vietnam War. Uh, on the wall, I believe, his name is either on the first or second line. Uh, his plane went down with nine men aboard. So he was the first, one of the first people, soldiers that were killed in the Vietnam War. And that was another reason why I thought he had to be recognized, not just for giving the ultimate sacrifice like the other gentlemen. And the community, and especially our high school uh, uh, people, they should come and visit uh, we have a wonderful museum here, not also this display of the Vietnam veterans.